Linking tasks means that you want to take one task and create a relationship with another. For example, I've got my examine software and search internal documents. The default or the main purpose of creating relationships between tasks is, for example, before I can start search internal documents as task, its predecessor must be completed or finished. Why? Well, if you start every single task at the same time, basically you're going to have a room full of people doing everything at once. Or you're going to have one person doing some of the tasks and he can't be everywhere at once. For example, if I had one worker working on examining the software and searching internal documents, each of them were five days, well those would be 16 hour days so we can get them both completed in five days. That wouldn't work. So we're creating relationships or links saying by default as soon as you're done eating your vegetables, then go to dessert. As soon as this is done, then go to the next one. As soon as that one's done, go to the next task, and so on. Now that we've got a basic concept of that, let's get a little bit more detailed. I'm going to go down to my PowerPoint presentation and get it started. Now when it comes to linking task, when you link task to another task, it's going to create a relationship. In other words, now that we're hooked up and we're related, what type of relationship are we going to have? Are we going to be good to each other, bad? No. There are four types of relationships once you connect your tasks or link them together. You have a finish to start relationship, which is the default relationship in project. And then start to finish, start to start. Basically, none of this means anything right now until you come down and read this little sentence right here. This will help you determine the task relationships. So when you connect your task, you're going to ask yourself, the predecessor or the task before this one that I'm looking at must what? Before this task can what? So for example, the predecessor, the task before this, must finish before this task can start, which is probably the easiest concept of a relationship between linking tasks, as I just described a minute ago. For example, before I can go ahead and eat my dessert, the predecessor dinner must be finished or completed. Well, that's not my best example. Let me show you a few of them here. Let me go to the next screen. Okay, the first two of the four. Finish to start. The training, the predecessor, and you can keep an eye up here, on this uh, question that you're going to state when you're looking at or defining a relationship between task, the predecessor, the training, must finish before the development can start. Now let's think about that. We've got to be able to be trained on what we're going to be making. So this would make sense. We've got to be trained first before we can go ahead and produce something. Next is the start to finish relationship. Again, thinking of this uh, sentence up above, the predecessor, electrical, must start before the sheetrock can be finished. Now let's think about that. When you're drilling holes through the 2x4s to string your wires throughout the house for electricity, you want to make sure that you start that before the sheetrock, the panels go up. Because otherwise you're going to have to punch holes through the sheetrock to be able to continue to string your wiring throughout the house. Okay, let's go to the last two. Our start to start. The writing must start before the editing can start. Now let's think about that. Before we can edit something, something must be written. So obviously, in this case, you'd want to start writing, even if it's just a paragraph, in which case doesn't sound very efficient, but at least you got something to edit, even if it's just a word or, like I said, a paragraph. Now finish to finish. The carpeting must start before moving in can finish. Like I said, the example is not the greatest, but think about it. If you're laying down carpet and somebody hurries and moves in everything before you actually finish carpeting, then you're going to have some of the furniture on the carpet, some of it off. So you have to finish carpeting the whole house before you can actually finish moving in. Break it down that a little bit further. You can carpet the bedrooms, but you haven't finished carpeting the house, right? Or maybe you carpeted half of a room. You could still move furniture in, although I don't recommend that. It's not good for the carpet to have them stretch and pull it with heavy objects on them, but I hope you get my point. Let's go ahead and close out of here and go back to our project and see it in action. Now the purpose of this training video is basically to link your tasks together. But keep in mind, in the background, by default, these tasks, when they're linked, are going to have a relationship type, which is going to be finished to start. We'll cover the relationship types a little bit more, in fact, how to change them once they're defaulted in the next training video. But right now, let's just go ahead and link up our tasks. To do that, it's really easy. All you have to do is go ahead and select all your subtasks. For example, clicking and dragging down below and select my three subtasks. I want to link those three together. I'm not going to link my summary task. By default, when I link the subtask, the summary task will follow suit. So if I go ahead to keep it simple, select these three subtasks that I want to link, come up here on the standard toolbar and click on the link task button or hit F2 on the keyboard. And you'll notice, again, they're linked, but how are they linked? By that default relationship, finish to start meaning that the predecessor, this task right here, must finish before this task can start. And then looking at this task, 
its predecessor must finish before this task can start. So you're looking at completing that task, then you can go to the next one, then you can go to the next one. Now, combining those from its earliest starting date, which is August 1st, to its end date, after we go from one to the next, it goes all the way out to what date? You can see over here, August 18th. So then, the summary task will go ahead and add up all the days from the start to the end and say it's going to take a total of 12 days, which makes sense in this link or relationship type, finish to start. 5 plus 5 plus 2 is 12 days. Now whatever you do, be sure that you absolutely link these in order. And what I mean by that is when I hit the undo button and I go, okay, let's see. I want to link this task to the next one and oops, I missed. I clicked that one down there and oh, let me go ahead and back up and hold down the control key and select that one. The order that I selected them in is how they're going to be linked. So when I click on the link button, look how it works. I selected this one first, this task down below second, which is down below here, then it has to go back up to the middle task here. So if you're running into problems like that, you can either hit the undo button, or if you already hit the save button and the undo button is no longer available, like it just did there, go ahead and make sure you got them selected and then go ahead and say unlink them or break the links. And then click off in a blank area and start over again. So let's do this. I'm going to select the start manual and then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag in order all the subtasks down below, making sure that I don't miss a beat here and everything's in order, and then all the way down to complete. Go ahead and click on the link button. There we go. Obviously the milestone here that you can see in the Gantt chart starts on August 1st. It's an indicator to let me know that the first task down below as it points to is also starting August the 1st. Now to see all of this or to compress it within the timeline instead of looking at day by day view, Again, as we went over in a previous training video, go ahead and right click, go down to zoom, and say you want to see the entire project, and that's how it looks. So in summary, once you link all your tasks, which is the easiest thing to do here, just select and click on the link button, you want to keep in mind every predecessor has to be completed before the next task can start. If that's not the way it's going to work for you, as we just described in the four different types of relationships, like this task has to start at the same time as that one, or must finish before its predecessor, or the predecessor must finish before this one, you want to watch the next training video. Uh, I'll go over a little bit more about the types of relationships and where you can go to change them from your finish to start to start to start and so on. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.